Outstanding Dragons. Today is uh, Wednesday. It is September 15th, 2021. It's the 30th day of school. Maybe Zero Heroes visiting today. Uh, I'm Mr. Butcher, and it's my job to keep you safe so that you guys can show us how excellent you can be. Hopefully you've left your average at home or in the bus, and you're ready to have a respectful and responsible day. Speaking of responsibilities, one of our responsibilities is to be ready to show respect for the rights that we have in this country and in our school. We do this daily by saying the pledge to the flag, our school pledge, and also doing a moment of silence. When we do this, we want to make sure that we are standing up tall, putting our hand over our hearts like this, saying the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. Just keep practicing. You should hear it over and over again. Hopefully you guys are starting to get it and being able to say it uh, on your own. Leading us in the pledge today is Miss Lee and Miss Even. I pledge allies to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, on the God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I will be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I will work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Please take a moment to reflect silently on our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. Another one of our responsibilities is to help keep each other safe. We can keep each other safe if we reduce the amount of germs that we have in the building and how we spread them. A best way to do that, one of the best ways to do that is by making sure that we wash our hands frequently throughout the day. When we wash our hands, we want to make sure that we're using soap and water. If you can't get to soap and water, you can always use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. We have tons of that in our building. And you want to make sure that you're washing all parts of your hands and doing it for at least 20 seconds. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some hand sanitizer and let's model what good hand washing looks like. So get the palms of our hands, two, three, four, five. Get the back of your hand, two, three, four, five. Get the back of your other hand, two, three, four, five. Get your fingertips where the grime is. Three, four, five. Get the other fingertips, two, three, four, five. Get your thumb, two, three, four, five. Your other thumb, two, three, four, five. Five, get your wrist, two, three, four, five, and your other wrist, two, three, four, five. And now your hands are nice and clean. Good job. Now that we've done our pledge, moment of silence, washed our hands, we're ready to start the day. We always start the day by showing respect for those that have birthdays today. Happy, happy birthday to Priscilla Eilis, who's 11 years old. Olivia Stovall Moore, who's 10 years old, Emily Hutt, who's 11, and Graydon Hardiman, who's 10 years old. We'll make sure that you guys get your birthday ripped. After we show respect to those that have birthdays, it's time to make sure that we have the responsibility of making our lunch choice. One of my favorite lunches, not my favorite, but one of my favorites, breakfast for lunch. Yes, sir. French toast sticks, sausage tri taters which is just the ha uh, triangle hash brown fresh baby carrots and diced pears if you don't want breakfast for lunch you can always get yogurt or muffin or the pb and j go ahead and make your lunch choice if you haven't already one of our goals is to improve our vocabulary. We do this several ways throughout the day, through books that I read aloud, and also through pictures in the morning announcements where you guys get to talk and have a conversation. Each week, we'll give you a picture. Here's our picture for this week. There is a ton going on in this picture. Um, and so let's talk about it. Yesterday, we talked about nouns. Nouns are persons, places, things, or ideas. Uh, we had nine teachers, Mr. McCoy, Mr. Rose, Miss Jackson, Miss Ballard, Miss McCombs, Miss Peterson, Miss Brown, Miss Kinney, and Miss Cooper all participated. Um, we had nouns like uh, people, uh, wagon, uh, bike, cat, treat, even a belly button. Uh, we had uh, bench, background, lady, Park, bicycles, um, a lot of sentences. This is the sentence from Miss Peterson's class. The person is sitting on the bench. The cat is taking a ride. The boy is petting the cat. 
the bike is red, the boy should put the cat in, uh, the boy should put the cat in the wagon when he starts to ride the bike, and the grown-ups are watching the kids. Good job, excellent job, Miss Peterson. So today, we're looking for verbs. Verbs are action words. Obviously, action, you know, because this is just a still picture. It's not moving. You don't really know some of the actions, so you have to look at it and see what kind of actions you might see. Obviously, they're sitting. You can see they're sitting. The boy's petting. So different things on there. So come up with some action words, some verbs uh, from this picture. Okay, our morning message is on citizenship, overcoming obstacles, and work ethic. Archbishop. Patrick Flores understood what it meant to be raised without a lot of things that most people are used to having. His childhood home didn't have electricity. It didn't have water. As a child, he was not allowed into certain restaurants, theaters, swimming pools because he was a Mexican-American. But he overcame his problems that he faced in his childhood and became a powerful man who did many good things for America. He believed that through education, and hard work, you can create a much better life for yourself. Remember this, if you study hard, you stay in school, do your best in everything that you do, you can open doors to a better tomorrow for yourselves. You can do many good things too. But something to think about, I'm Mr. Butcher, make today your masterpiece or not a member of the choice is yours. And this is a hard time. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic. Things are not easy for anyone. But that doesn't mean we should just quit. That just means we need to work that much harder to make sure that we overcome the things that are in our life. You know what? I truly believe if you put forth your best effort in all that you do and you treat people with respect, you will always be a success. Always be a success. Now, it might not be in the success that you want to be. Like, I wanted to be a pro baseball player, but I can't. But... Through my hard work that I got in baseball, I was able to do other things that I was really, really good at. So make sure that you're putting forth your best effort, working hard each and every day. Don't cheat yourself. All right, while we are still under this temporary mask mandate, it means everyone needs to wear their mask. So make sure you're putting your mask over your nose and putting it over your mouth. Make sure you're not touching the mask except for by the bands. You guys have a great day. I love you. That is all we have for announcements. So please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe. And you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you, you are, are boldly committed, committed to, to student, student success. success. I love you very much. Have a great day. My teacher is Miss Kenny, and I'm in second grade. Olivia goes to the library. What are you reading, Olivia? asks e Ian. The Enchanted Pineapple Princess, Olivia answers. Ready to go to the library? Dad asks. Our, our books are due back today. But I'm not done with mine, replies Olivia. We can renew it, says Dad. Hold on to your book, Dad tells Olivia. Ian, can you drop the rest into the slot? Can we listen to story time, Olivia asks. Sure, says Dad. Olivia puts her book down next to her. They live happily ever after, reads the storyteller at the end. almost as good as the Enchanted Pineapple Princess, Olivia tells him. I don't know that one, he replies. I'll show you, says Olivia, but the book is gone. Olivia looks for the book, but she cannot find it. Can I help you? asks the librarian. I left my book on a chair, says Olivia. Now it's missing. I'll tell you if I see it, 
the librarian promises. Dad, have you seen my book? Olivia asked. Dad's not seen it. Olivia keeps looking. Ian, want to go on an exciting adventure to look for my book? Asks Olivia. That's not exciting, but okay, says Ian. I think I see it, yells Olivia. Is it there? Asks Ian. <laughs> no, but I did find Julian, Olivia giggles. The storyteller is holding the book. I was about to read this for story time, he says. Come and listen and you can check it out after. Once upon a time. Olivia hears the story one more time before bed. They lived happily ever after. Mom reads, good night, Olivia. That was Olivia goes to the library.